Well, Chopper Reed has created the world's newest superpower in Zakistan. Am I saying that correctly? In Zakistan? It's a made-up word, so you can't really say it incorrectly. In Zakistan. And he says he <laughs> just is just the bloke to run it to. Here in New Zealand on tour, he's taken some time out to join us on the cafe. Welcome, Chopper. Very good, day. Thanks for having me. Can I first of all say, never in my life did I think that I would see Chopper Reed on morning television, <laughs> doing a cooking segment. Doing a cooking segment. Well, yeah, sorry, I, th I believe you're usually in the kitchen, but everyone knows <laughs> that uh, <laughs> women have no place in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's progressive, isn't it? Come on, that's what we are. And also, um, I must say hats off to you two for not swearing because when I've watched you on Seven Days, your language is pretty fruity. Yeah, I like to use a full palate. Yeah. I actually don't think I've ever said fruity before when I've described swear words, but yeah, yeah. And I've never been described as fruity before. So <laughs> it's a real morning at first. I've never been up in the morning before either, so <laughs> three in a row. Well, I'm pleased you got here. Let's talk about Anzakistan. Um, yep. what, what is it? Well, basically, I've decided I'm going to take over Australia and New Zealand uh, and merge them together uh, and form a superpower that's just going to dominate the rest of the world. Uh, it's going to be the next sort of uh, major dynasty. My goodness, OK, so we are just, you know, today coming to grips with what's happened in America in the last 24 hours. Yeah, I'm just glad it's over. Yeah, same. <laughs> I'm really pleased it's Never over. Never going to be over. <laughs> yeah. um, what sort of rules would we have here in New Zealand? Well, I'll, I'll probably get rid of a few rules, uh, you know what I mean? There seems to be too many rules about stuff. Uh, I think I'm going to basically cut down all the parking metres. Oh, yes. And melt them that. down and build something useful with them. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Have you got any suggestions? We're going to just kind of play it fast and loose, you know. I've got a I mean? question though for you. If you cut down all the parking meters, how are you going to make your income? Oh. <laughs> on the spot there. I've this got... is what you do with mares and things and dictators, you put them on the spot. Or well, not dictators because they shoot you. Um, yeah. But mares. Yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> you control yeah. us. I'm just going to sit yeah. back. Yeah. Uh, it'll be right. I, I, I have this crazy idea where I'm going to start uh, taxing international corporations for a change. <laughs> oh, you're getting applause for that. Yeah, quite that's novel. right. Somebody yeah. out there own some Apple products by the sound of it. OK, well, I've got, I've got some questions for you. So, you know, we're living in Anzakistan. Yep. Would we be allowed to ride our bikes on the footpath? Yes, as long as you're under 16. <laughs> Would we be allowed medicinal marijuana? Why well, stop it medicinal? <laughs> Can we call in sick when we're hungover and take that as a sick day? No, that would be a separate hungover day uh, because sometimes you do get actually sick. Oh, OK, nice. So we actually get a hungover day? Yeah, you get four hangover days a year. You ring up on a Tuesday and be like, sorry... I just need to eat pizza today, just yes. in my pyjamas. I'm going to vote for this, OK? And you don't even need to vote. It's going to be a bloody, oh, yeah, that's be right. a bloody coup. Right. We don't get to choose, <laughs> do we? He's just taken over. And, and also one more. What about windscreen wipers at intersections? Because they bug me. Can you yeah, sort that out? No, I don't need them. There's a little buddy. You know, you just pull the lever on your windscreen. You tss, You've got your own. Your little, yeah, little dude built into the car. <laughs> that's a pretty good idea. Right. Uh, as, the, as the benevolent dictator of Anzakistan, you seem to spend a lot of time in New Zealand. Well, that's one of the things uh, that kind of gave me the idea. I was sort of flying between Australia and New Zealand, and I was like, do I have my passport? And then I thought, wouldn't it be great if I didn't need a passport? So it's entirely sort of selfish motivation uh, with a dash of megalomania on top, really. Fair enough. OK, well, we're going to come back to you, because I get that this show that you are doing is basically just a good chance to have a whinge about what you don't like about Australia and New Zealand. You've, you've noticed a pattern. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed you? a pattern. <laughs> and we'll come back, we'll talk more to Chopper Reed in just a minute. And back with our benevolent dictator, Chopper Reed on the sofa from Zakistan. Uh, Chopper, you are over here all the time for your role with Seven Days. You yep. seem to, you should practically live here, it seems yep. to me, a lot of the time. What seven days? Do you have to keep up with the news that's happening in New Zealand when you're in Australia? Uh, not really, no. I usually just buy about seven papers at the airport and try and churn through them on the plane. Uh, and then after that, I just sort of make it up. Yeah, well, that seems to be what most of them do anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, most of the newspapers are made up anyway. Well, really, let's aren't be they? honest, you're probably not wrong there. Do you have a favourite New Zealander that you like to take the mickey out of? Uh, well, I mean, let's face it, the main obstacle for me at the moment is John Key, so... <laughs> Get rid of him. <laughs> Move That's him a aside. Pause. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> when okay, when you're in New Zealand, 
okay, and you're touring around the country, John Key in the back of your mind, you must meet some fascinating back characters. Back of my mind or in the back of my car? <laughs> in the boot. <laughs> Tied up. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Is he? You see, under a dictatorship, um, you wouldn't be allowed to say that, would you? I would be. I can do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I can microwave a spoon when I'm running the place. <laughs> but is there a difference in personality types or character types, say, between Wellington and Invercargill? Well, you know, uh, Wellington people, they're kind of urban, aren't they? You know, um, but, you know, Wellington and Invercargill, they both like leaning into the wind. Um, <laughs> but, you know, you Invercargill people, they're not so much sort of, uh, you know, worried about the internet um, and sort of beret-wearing drum circles uh, like, and like they are in Wellington, you know. Invercargill drink spates, Wellington drink like a fruity troll based <laughs> craft beer, I you know, made from me reminiscence from yesteryear or whatever it is, the key ingredient, and bloody hops and. You've really nailed this, haven't you? What about Aucklanders? Uh, Aucklanders, uh, they're just glad not to be in traffic, is what I've just <laughs> you know what I mean? They just get out of the car and they look relaxed all of a sudden. Right. Now, you know, as Chopper Reed has experienced a lot of different things, do you think he's becoming more frustrated as he gets older? Or? Well, I'm sort of taking on a certain level of zen with some things, but then new things pop up and make you really cranky. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, like uh, when young people talk, you think you're like, all right, I've covered it, I've got the lexicon locked down now, and then someone tells you that they're woke or something, and you're like, I just, oh, just want to push you from a moving van. <laughs> <laughs> and I hear that Chopper Reed is good mates with a comedian called Heath Franklin, but, uh, and so Heath Franklin's looking to do a little bit of expanding thing? Yeah, he's kind of trying to get up to his own stuff, but I'm, I, to, to be honest, I'm keeping him down. You yeah. know what I mean? I've got one foot on his face. Yeah. <laughs> All the time, I can imagine. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. The, the road to success uh, is paved with the faces of your enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Job. I tell you what, I could sit down, have a beer and talk with this man all day, but we are out of time. You can go and see him, though. The Live From Anzakistan tour. There's only a few dates left with New Plymouth, Napier and Rotorua shows to go. Check out all the details at Event Finder. Yeah, thank you, Chop. I've actually really enjoyed that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's yeah. been an absolute pleasure. It's been weird being awake before midnight. <laughs>